Hi, my name is Jessica Detloff. I am a senior here at Concordia Junior Senior High School, and I am in Sense and Sensibility. I'm Nicholas Gayhart. Hello. I'm Carson Center, and I'm a senior here at Concordia High School. I would say that's a tough question because not only doing the high school plays, I do the Brown Grand plays as well. So probably, whenever people ask me this question, I'd say almost half, almost a dozen plays, just because I've done so many since junior high. I've done three other plays besides this one. Well, two plays, one musical. I did The Orange Hotel, John Lennon and Me, Fiddle on the Roof, and now this one, Sense and Sensibility. This will be my first one. My favorite thing about this play would probably be when uh, we watched the movie over this play because when we first read the script, none of it really made sense to any of us. And we had to go watch, I think it was the BBC version of this play. And I learned uh, uh, my character in like, she, and I didn't get very much of it, which if you ask my freshman self, if you had my freshman self look at that year, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And then when Styles kind of just like gave me his own interpretation of this character, my whole idea of this character just went out the window. And probably also just learning to develop this character into our own way. Definitely. Only the people, honestly. I love, I just love being around people and doing the plays is fun. I also love using, putting my feelings. I think that the cast is such like a tight-knit group and they're really fun to work with. Oh gosh, uh, I would probably say we are literally an immediate family, like I'm probably what you would maybe consider the child, not the more adults, mature person that makes sure everybody stays in line. I'm kind of like the kid that everybody else watches after. Um, but uh, I would say, especially with production week coming up, uh, we become like two peas in a pod pretty much. And uh, especially if you got to know some of the past seniors through these plays, they would agree with me as well that we are just one big happy family and we all treat each other like siblings sometimes. So we kind of tend to butt heads sometimes, but yeah. More close now than I have ever been because now that I've done about three other plays with them, we've, got, we've grown really close and I'm happy. I'm close to a couple of them, but most I'm just meeting for the first time. When people ask me this question, I could burst out into tears or I could just be like, yeah, it's my last play, whatever, who cares? Uh, but I've been having definitely mixed emotions since it's my last play as a high schooler. And it officially, I think, set in when I had a phone call with my good friend um, last, just last night over saying that it's the start of the last of everything. Because, yeah, during the fall with, like, especially band, it was the last uh, marching band, but it didn't really hit me as much as it does now. But knowing that it's my last official last play with these guys, um, I want to make this the best, and I want us to make the best play we could possibly have and go out with the bang. It makes me really sad, honestly. I wish that I would have done more plays. I wish I didn't start junior year. I wish I started freshman year, even though it, I probably would have been a mess because I was not mature at all. I'm barely mature now, but I was even less than back then. Well, considering it's my first and my last, I think I regret not doing past ones a little bit. One thing I would definitely take away is knowing a lot of different people, not only through the Brown Grand players, because I met a lot of amazing people in there, but also through the high school plays. Um, just getting to know so many different people and also becoming more close uh, with our director, Mr. Styles, and just becoming, again, one big happy family because at the end of the day, we all are striving for one thing, and that is to put on a fantastic show. And rather, if it means maybe hurting each other, each other's feelings but again in the end that's just the way of life that's that's also what I've learned that pretty much if you've gone into a play production it's like the way of life pretty much probably the experience I've gained from doing this acting has always been uh, an interest of mine and being able to do this has really let let me be comfortable and just have fun
Well, I know this is definitely helping me open up and being able to talk in front of people and being more, I don't know, free-spirited, I guess. <laughs> and the teamwork is something I'm definitely going to take away as well. To anybody that uh, is planning on doing any of the plays, or if you've auditioned for any of the plays, I would definitely recommend going out for the plays because if it wasn't for my cousin Mickey, Mickey Nelson, I wouldn't be standing here on the, this stage every, every night performing and I wouldn't be here every day at practice. I would do it if you want to step outside your comfort zone or just try something new because that is one thing that <laughs> why a lot of us here in the, putting on these shows, that's why we're here to try something new, but also to give, to want, of course, learn something new and to just have fun. And I definitely recommend if you haven't gone out for any place or have tried, keep trying. You're going to get a part, I guarantee it, because he gave me a part. So 